Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. We're going to do one cast today. I'm up here with Jackson. I'm about halfway between the Narrows and Lookout, fishing the Bluff Bank and fishing up. I'm not. There's a Mr. Dixon that sent me some flies that he had tied. And I forgot the piece of paper with the names on them. But I'm fishing the one with the, uh, with the posts and the abdomen that sticks below the surface. I've been fishing it for about, ooh, there's a rise right there. Fishing it about 30 minutes or so, I've had one take, which I missed. Not a whole lot of activity, but I just had one come up right there. So I just threw at it. See if I get another hit. I'd hooked one earlier after he came up along the bank. And he shook his head about two or three times and he was gone. But I'm just now getting up to the the area that I like the best, where the bank's a lot steeper, there's bigger rocks along the bank, and those fish can really get in there and hug that surf, hug the, the and there he is. As soon as it landed, he hit it. It's a good rainbow. All right. Don't like all this line out. Ooh, he just about caught me off guard. I'd like to have him on the reel. From here down, there's some good spots, but a lot of it is uh, it's pretty shallow up towards the bank and there's actually a fair amount of pond weed and some other algae in the water and that that doesn't do very well when you throw them dries doesn't work But from here up, you can tell the bank is a lot steeper when you got those big rocks along the bank. Man, this there is nothing wrong with the oxygen in the water that's for them. go down and get the net here in a second you just give up he's not huge you're just fighting like he is long. He's not as uh, beefy as a lot of the fish that we've been catching. Oh, that's... There, there we go. Go. Oh, yeah. I'll have to take a picture of this flying. 
show you too, but I really like it. But that post on the top, that's where you put your dubbing and everything else hangs below the surface. I like it. I've got uh, 4X tippet down to it. It's a it's, it's tight on a 10 or 12 hook. Put a little bit of floating on your finger and put it on the post. And I usually put it on the line. I don't put it right up to the fly, but I'll start about an inch or two away and just kind of grease that line a little bit. I could quit and go home, be happy. A lot of boats out today. I see a lot of guys here for the tournament that are fishing this morning. Reports I got coming up was pretty slow. Um, the sun's out bright and there's no wind at all. So if you're in that sun, I know Brett Raiders down here fishing Lomi. Well, he's above the Narrows. I've seen him boat several fish, and he's fishing out in the sun. So he's he's got his own line of flies that he's developed. It's he sells and uses on his trips. They're very unique and very good, good flies. I like these spots, of course, under the trees where the trees hang out over the water. I've seen one here a minute ago. There's a squirrel eating some acorns. They're just now starting to fall a little bit, the green ones. And there were pieces of them falling in the water. Uh, I just wonder if fish are chomping on those pieces of acorn as they sink down to the bottom. There he is. I moved it a little bit before you took it. It's about the same size fish or maybe a tiny bit bigger. Yeah, I think he's bigger. A little longer. Cool. Three takes. Two fish. I like your fly. The fish like your fly. And it's uh it's not early in the morning. It's 9:40. I got up and played basketball this morning first time in maybe a couple months. Small group. Nobody wants to get out and catch anything, I think. But when you play with small numbers, that means you got to move all the time, so it's actually harder. <laughs> Can't go over in the corner and hide. When you get tired,
It's a pretty heavy fish, so I'm, I'm, I really can't horse him too much. Always pretty. Well, 14 minutes in, I got two fish. Okay, buddy, come on in. Nope. I do have a oxygen meter. I might just go ahead and take a a reading. I'm curious to to know what it is. It's been running about between in the upper fives to low sixes. Yeah, he's he is quite a bit bigger. Yeah, he's over 20. He's 21 inches. Cool. I kind of had a feeling he was. He's not super heavy. I want to keep him in the water as much as I can. Took the hook right in the hard, the hard part of the jaw. Oh, came out. I bent the hook a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna hold him above the net. That's not. That's nice. Nice rainbow, and he's good and strong. I'd say about 21 inches on the dry. Awesome. <laughs>